welcome back to my channel. My name is Anjali, if you are new here, and today we are gonna be doing another Costco haul. I haven't done one of these in a very long time because we have been <laughs> waiting for our new home in Vero Beach, Florida to be ready, and so I think the last one I did probably was, oh my gosh, was it before the holidays? Wow. So today's Costco haul is special because we had to like fully restock our house, like everything. When we moved across the ocean from Hawaii to Florida, we didn't bring obviously any of our groceries because it just doesn't make sense. So I had to get everything from like laundry detergent to olive oil to sauces and just, well, restock our kitchen and our household. So. Without further ado, I'm just gonna jump in. Honestly, I'm gonna try to get to the frozen stuff first because the nearest Costco um, is about an hour away, so I should probably get that in the freezer. So just bear with me, it's just gonna be a lot of stuff. And if you guys love this stuff as much as I do, I love cleaning and like learning how to run a household, I did create a downloadable PDF for you guys um, for like a cleaning how-to and like a food prep situation. So that will be down there for you guys. And I actually have my Costco shopping list in there as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in and show you guys what I got at Costco to restock our house. So the first thing I am going to do since Maple is on the floor licking it, <laughs> I'm gonna get this put away, but it is a gallon of milk. I know, super exciting. But this is the lactate, I don't know if I pronounced that right, lactose-free 2% milk. Super exciting. Starting off with a big one here. <laughs> All right, the next thing I need to get in the fridge are my eggs. These are the organic eggs free range. And it's crazy to see the price difference in groceries from Hawaii to Florida. Like eggs and milk are definitely a little bit cheaper. So and that's just kind of interesting because I lived in LA and Hawaii. So that's those eggs. Gosh, I'm gonna have to relearn how to organize my fridge. Okay, I grabbed a pack of the 100% grass-fed beef patties. These are new to Costco, and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I've always liked their beef patties, but very excited that they have the grass-fed now. So that's a little plus if you didn't know. We have the boneless chicken breast. I normally get the individually wrapped, but I didn't see them this time, but these will work. I like to keep both the breast and tenderloins because sometimes, depending on what I'm cooking, I prefer either or. So I have a bag of those somewhere. I'm gonna find and quickly put in the freezer because you guys do not care to see another bag of frozen chicken. <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed a pack of the Columbus Hickory Smoked Uncured Turkey Bacon. This is my favorite. I love the texture and the taste and just the way it cooks. So yeah, I went ahead and grabbed this some. For my smoothies, I grabbed a bag of the organic dark sweet cherries. I also grabbed the triple berry blend by Kirkland. And then the last freezer item that I know of is the Kirkland Supreme Cauliflower Crust Pizza. It tastes so good. It actually feels like real pizza crust. It's really thin, crispy, and the Supreme is really nice. Okay, so that is that. Let me get this in the freezer now. Then I'll just get rid of a few things in front of me and then we'll move on to a bag but I have the smoked salmon. I get this all the time. I love to do like a lox situation um, with some like cream cheese or like garlic spread. It's always really good. So always grab this when I'm at Costco. And then I grab some just basic bread to have on hand. I'll throw one in the freezer and save it that way. And then we always like to do tikka masal or like gyros or something like that. So I always just keep these stone fire little pitas on hand. I put half in the freezer and half in a Ziploc in the fridge and then, yeah, and you always have. All right, next I have some veggies and fruit. And this time when I was at Costco, I tried really hard to be really conscious about what I was purchasing, only buying things that I know we would eat as well as things that were definitely on the healthier side. We wanted to kind of regroup now that we're in our own home we hadn't had like our own fridge or cooking situation in like three months so we definitely want to get back on track and kind of do like a refresh so that being said i grabbed some raspberries blackberries grapes and bananas and then for veggies i grabbed some organic baby bella mushrooms some bell peppers and then i always like to grab some salad kits just to keep them on hand and they're super easy just to toss for a side for dinner. So I grabbed the sweet kale, which is personally my favorite, the organic avocado ranch. I always like to grill chicken and toss it in barbecue and you got yourself a barbecue chicken salad. And then 
I grabbed a bag of baby potatoes. Super easy to do with veggies on a tray for a side dish or for breakfast. And then I just grabbed some romaine so I can make some Caesar salads. Now I have a bag of onions so I can cook pretty much anything with any of this stuff. <laughs> That's honestly my favorite thing about veggies. You can just dice them up, throw them in a pan with some seasoning and it always tastes good. So I am gonna have to clear some space real quick. Please hold. And then I'm gonna get this bag out of my way. No idea what's in here, it's just kind of a random assortment of things, but I grabbed a bag of the wonderful pistachios. Um, again, wanted to have healthy snack options on hand, and now that I have a nice pantry that you can actually walk in and see what we have, I think it'll be a lot easier. So, pistachios, we love, and now that it'll be easier just to pull off a shelf, I think we'll be good. So I grabbed those. And then another snack that I could not resist were these Girl Scout Thin Mint Pretzels. I am gonna pop them in the freezer and have them as a little snack. I, I just freaking love Thin Mints and I love chocolate covered pretzels. So this is a match made in heaven in my opinion. <laughs> I love the classic Kirkland spinach and cheese raviolis that they like have always had, but this is my first time seeing the organic version, so I went ahead and grabbed them, and this is one of Sawyer's favorite meals, so I know this will definitely be a hit in our household. And then, you guys know me, I always get the Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter. Um, I know some people don't know a lot about butter. I don't know if that makes sense, but if you're gonna eat butter, eat really, good quality butter, and this is one of them. I highly recommend it. I got Sawyer's mom hooked on it, and I actually learned this from my dad, um, who has learned a lot about food in the last couple of years, and this is the only butter that he eats, and um, I'm sure everyone has their own opinion about butter, but if you're looking for good tasting and decent butter, like really great ingredients, I recommend this. Then I went ahead and grabbed a container of tzatziki sauce, Again, like I said, we like to make gyros, and now that I have the pita and I have lamb, I always use the leftover lamb to make gyros the next day, so this is just a fun sauce to have on hand. Then I grabbed some baked pita crackers, the garlic and chive. I haven't had these before, but I grabbed some like cheese spread, and I thought this would just be some good crackers to have on hand. If you've tried these, let me know. Um, I'm sure we'll try them tonight, but when you're in a house with like no snacks, this is definitely something that looks good. So something I'm gonna need to do is completely redo all of my spices. So um, while I was at Costco this time, I went ahead and grabbed just the California garlic um, powder. I'm gonna need to like go there one day with the intention of it, just going through and buying spices. Um, I just didn't feel like doing that today because I had to buy and get so much. So that'll probably be next round. But I have some fun ideas about spices at this cool like spice spot and I ordered some spice containers. So we're gonna get creative and have fun with the spices here in a little bit, but. Secured the garlic powder. The organic croutons, these are my favorite. They are so good. I hate buying the single little bags of croutons. I feel like it works for like one salad and then you're done. So definitely just get your croutons at Costco and call it good. Um, another thing I grabbed is the Columbus Reduced Sodium Italian Dry Salami. I always just put one bag in the freezer and use the other for like cheeses, but it's just really nice to have these on hand. Um, you never know when you need to make a last minute cheese platter and then you have them. All right, we're gonna work through some of this a little quicker. I grabbed a chunk of Parmesan. I just like to grate it myself. So this is always worth the money as well as the amount that you get. It's just the best bang for your buck in my opinion. And then to go along with those pita crackers, I grabbed the Borson Cheese Variety Pack. We have garlic fine herb and shallot and chive. So this is definitely a hit in our house. And Honestly, can't go wrong with it. Turkey breast, the uncured black forest ham. These are my favorite because I like that it actually feels like meat. Lunch meat can kind of freak me out, but these actually feel like good quality meat. And something I grab instead of ground beef is ground bison. I personally just like the texture and the taste and it's a little leaner for you, so I grabbed that. Something new. But I thought these would be good to have on hand. These are sweet Italian sausages. Thought it'd be really easy just to put in a pan with some bell peppers and onions and garlic and call it good. Or to throw on the grill, you know? So many options. A house 
favorite is the Tortilla Land or Tortillas. I normally like to grab the organic ones. They didn't have them this time, so I just went with it. Um, but yeah, we go through these so fast. Everyone's like, why don't you freeze half? I'm like, because Sawyer eats them like they're chips. He freaking loves these tortillas. Last thing in this bag, which is so exciting. We are almost there, almost there. I told you, this is like a full restock. I know you guys love the Costco hauls, so I'm definitely giving you a haul here. <laughs> Something I really wanted to do, I have this beautiful bowl sitting here that you can't see because of this stuff, but I wanted to fill it with lemon and limes. I thought it would just be so pretty. Plus, it'd be nice to have some fresh lemon and limes on hand. Now that we don't have a lime tree, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to plant some citrus trees. I want a lemon tree, a lime tree, I want an orange tree, and I wanna try to do a peach tree. I was very excited about that, so I wanna do another one here. So anyways, that's a side note, but I got lemon and limes for my bowl. I'm gonna take a second, put this away, and we'll do the last couple items. Okay, then for dinner, I went ahead and grabbed my infamous <laughs> stuffed bell peppers with ground beef. This is just a household favorite. It's always super easy when you're just like running out of time. And this is gonna be one of those nights. It's already 3.40 and I already know that I have dinner done and planned, so that's good. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this box. And then I think I only have a few items on the ground and then we're done. So this is not from Costco, but I got the dog's dog wash. That's exciting. Just like the spices, I had to redo like all of my back stock stuff, which is, Kind of annoying because it's never fun to do, but once I do this, I won't have to ever do, well I shouldn't say ever, but it's not gonna be every time I go that I'm gonna have to get all this bulky stuff. That being said, I went ahead and grabbed the minced garlic. I love having garlic pre-minced, it just makes life so much easier. Then I grabbed a nice big container of honey. Now I had all the like classic Kirkland options, but this was by Kirkland, but it was also a Florida raw unfiltered honey. So I thought I would try it. So I'm gonna try some Florida honey here. <laughs> and I grabbed one of our favorites. This is the Kinder's teriyaki sauce. If you don't have this, you need it. Like go to your Costco, go to Amazon, whatever it is, just get yourself some of this teriyaki sauce. It is the best ever. Some pure vanilla to have on hand. I'm gonna need that for when we make cookies or bake, anything like that. Stocked up on my Worcestershire. I don't know why, but there's just something about the taste of this Worcestershire that I just love. Plus I love you can get it at Costco in a twin pack, so that makes it convenient. Unfiltered extra virgin olive oil. This is one of my favorites. It's by Carapelli. Um, it's also a pretty bottle, which is nice. Grab some aged balsamic vinegar. This is my favorite one. I feel like I got a lot of the basics. And the last thing in this box is the Rayo's homemade Alfredo. I normally get the tomato sauce, they didn't have it this time. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for the tomato sauce. Hey, what's happening? No, no. Hold on, Maple's eating my rug. One second. Okay, so that is the sauce situation. Oh my gosh, you dogs are, stop it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Okay, the last couple items. <sighs> I love this lemonade. This is the Kirkland Organic Lemonade, and if you have some good iced tea to make an Arnold Palmer, you're in business, highly recommend. Um, yeah, cannot go wrong. We had it at my dad's house all the time. He loves Arnold Palmers, and so I kind of got addicted while I was there. We have a Golden Retriever puppy. I needed some paper towels, so stocked up on these, and now I have the room to store them. I'm so excited about it. All right. Paper towels, check. Went ahead and grabbed some flushable wipes. Always good to have on hand. And the last item in our Costco haul. I can't believe we made it to the end. I went ahead and grabbed a box of the Powdered Tide. I've tried so many different laundry detergents and I just love the Powdered Tide the most. I also use it for cleaning solution to clean walls and for many, many other things. This is just tried and true, you cannot go wrong. So I grabbed a box of that. Wow, guys, we did it. We went to Costco and stocked this house. That feels good. 
Well loves, there you have it. That was my stocking our new home Costco haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know you guys love Costco hauls. I do too. I love going to Costco. I don't know why, but I just find it very therapeutic and I love having back stock of things. Um, I know it's silly, but it's true. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and let me know by leaving a comment what's your favorite item from Costco because I would love to add it to my favorites and try some new things. And like I mentioned, I do have that downloadable PDF down there. So take advantage of that, use it, try it out, and let me know what you guys think. But I guess the last thing, um, if you guys are curious about our move, I've been documenting the whole thing. I've been sharing vlogs setting up the house, um, the whole process of packing our house in Hawaii, it is all on my channel. So if you guys are interested in the move and how it went or how it's going, feel free to check that out. But that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.